As the calendar flips from January to February and we focus on the 14th, it's a reminder yep. for Nicole Hayden in West Palm Beach yes. and Alessandro Cinquini in Miami. I'm not able to have Facebook because I've been taken down like 25 times. Because Cinquini says online imposters have been stealing his photos and creating fake profiles for years. Probably seven years. Catfishing women. Yes. One of them was Nicole. I was just on Instagram and I got a uh, message, a DM from a profile. After about four or five days, I realized that it was probably a catfisher. So she looked up the real Alessandro. Um, so I had replied to one of his stories and I don't know, it was about like three hours later, he replied back and then the rest is history from there. And over a year later, the two are dating and spreading awareness. Think about uh, the amount of uh, online scam that there are in any kind of sector from romance and finances, crypto, becoming very hard to identify and distinguish what's true from what's not true. So. According to a new study by socialcatfish.com, Florida is the number two most catfished state with over 1,700 victims losing about $70.5 million in 2022 and an average loss of 40,000 per person. You know, they're funneling money through multiple victims. And so they're saying, hey, my, my cousin Joe's gonna send you, you know, $5,000 if you could take that money and then convert it into crypto. What are the signs that typically someone should notice I'm being catfished? When you meet somebody online and all of a sudden they start asking you for money. The other thing too, is if somebody won't video chat, anybody who just falls in love with you right away and, and um, you know, starts telling you all these wonderful things. When talking to anyone online, the FBI suggests researching the person's photo and profile through a reverse image search, which you can do through sites like socialcatfish.com. Ask a lot of questions and beware if they promise to meet you in person, but then always come up with an excuse. Don't hide behind the phone. Be aware of scam, of course. Be aware of impersonification. But if you want to do something, if you like a girl, go approach her and do things a little bit more at school and you will, I think it's going to work. I'm Contact 5 Consumer Investigator Jessica Bruno, WPTV News Channel 5.